And welcome to Bench Monster TV. I'm Ashley Lynn Condray. And I am the Bench Monster. Thank you for joining us this evening for another episode of Bench Monster TV. It came to the right place at the right time. Damn Thanks right. Guys. It will be our last episode of uh, February as we will be heading to the Arnold Classic next week. In fact, I believe our plane will touch down about this time. Well, um, Wednesday, right? Okay. Thursday. I was like, dude, no, it's oh. gonna be bad. It'll be Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. I got sorry. Vans on Thursday. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm day off. I'm excited. Okay, well, you're making me nervous. I know. I jump in the gun. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I got the Arnold Classic coming up. Going to be a crazy weekend. Looking forward to seeing everybody out there. Going to be very exciting. Going to see a lot of lifts, and I just get to go out there and enjoy it again. No pressure for me to do anything, but um, very excited. Uh, to get out there, you you're on point. Everything seems to be working. Your lifts are looking good, squat, bench, uh, deadlift. Everything's looking on point. Uh, there's nothing down here in the chat box. The audience is up here right now. This is where we look into the camera. We don't look down at the chat box at this time. Thank you. And is there anything you'd like to add uh, to you uh, in the Arnold? Your training, your knee. How's your knee doing? Well, I've just been doing singles because I'm not chancing it. Right. And you, like, you've been taking some peptide, a little BPC-157, yeah. getting some healing properties there. That's good. That. And um, your bench is good, too, right? As good as it ever is. Good as it's going to be. Okay. And deadlift is looking good, 424. Now, 25. well, you got to pull that at the end of the day after a long day of squatting and benching. And, you know, so you got to bring that to the table at the end of the day. So and I think yeah. you can do it. I have faith. I, I've seen it. I've squatted, uh, spotted, not spotted. I've spotted everything and I've watched and I foresee some uh, phenomenal numbers coming for you. Um, I have just been talking to Ken Lane on Facebook and we're getting him all set up for Thursday when we get back. Kind of a dream come true for me. He's one of my bench press heroes and finally get a meeting although it's on skype and it'll be on the show it's not like shaking hands in a real person but maybe that'll come later in life but i'm very excited to have him on the show pick his brain because he's one of the guys i looked up to 93 when i first was thumbing through powerlifting usa and uh look forward to asking him some questions uh i got lots of questions and i um, just want to know well, what his diet looked like you know how we roll here so that's, that's something to look forward to i'm kind of excited in fact i just sent him the questionnaire um, and I added a bunch of questions too to uh, our, our question list, and he's looking it over. He's bought himself a computer camera thing, so nice. hopefully we wow. got some action. He's getting prepared. For yeah, us. getting prepared. Yeah, um, yeah. So that being said, um, so do we do we leave Wednesday or Thursday? Wednesday, I believe we leave Wednesday at like one, and we get there at Are ten sure? o'clock. Yeah, you just said Thursday. I haven't looked at the tickets in a long Which time. Would work too. It's Wednesday. It could be Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I guess leave. Paul Loeffler are not going to be there and I'm not going to be able to train with Paul Loeffler, but, uh, maybe we'll do it another time, another place. And yeah, shit happens. You know, I understand. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it happen. It does. Yeah. That would have been cool, but. We got a lot of years ahead of us. Time, yeah. yeah. I was looking forward to it. Yeah. We will still stop by and say hi to Matt. And, yeah. um, I'm very curious. He went down to Cabo and had some stem cell therapy done oh. with his, uh, kidneys, uh, having high blood pressure most of his life and went through the procedure. I'm curious how much that cost, uh, cause it's probably something I would invest in if it's not too expensive. I know when you start dealing with stem cells, it can be twenty, fifty thousand dollars, but that's why people go to Mexico is to get a cheaper price on that type of stuff. And if it enhances my uh, longevity in life, then I will do it. But you can't put a cost on that, a price on that. Um, a lot of videos to show. Well, not a lot of videos, but we got quite a few here. Uh, bench press, max effort, speed bench was kind of weird this week. Um, uh, we just showed up on Friday for speed bench and Jose and myself decided we were just going to F off and go up to 405, 450 and not supposed to do that. But you know what? We're just having fun. So we'll check that out a little bit later. Got quite a few videos to shoot down here. Ashley's got some videos. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? There's another meet on March 2nd also in Wenatchee. Washington. I Dave know. Osborne is putting on a it's the same day as WRPKF. What's it called? WRPF. WRPF. Because I would have totally. I, I used to do meets at his gym all the time. Yeah. And they were always awesome. It was Larry's UPA meets, but yeah. they were always so cool. And I, if it, mine wasn't the same day, I would You'd totally probably do it, right? Oh, yeah. 
Okay. Well, of course, it had to be the same weekend same as day, the Arnold. Same weekend, yeah. yeah. But there's quite a few people in our gym. Nate Brandon Horse and um, uh, P- Scott People Pe- People Big Guy. He's gonna do it too, and I think Jacob Oram Pete? and Pete. What are you calling him? Peepo. Peep Peepo. His last name? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. But I think I thought his name was Pete. Pete. Are people calling him Pete for Peepo? I don't know. I swear I thought his name was Pete. God. Well, I had it written down somewhere, but I'm sorry if I butchered I was it. Him on I'm just Pete excited. Day, yeah, because so. yeah, they're look if, if they're not, looking I strong. Look like an idiot, but yeah, yeah all those strong. guys are looking good, looking they're really looking good. Very so strong. they're going to put up some good numbers. Okay, let's get to some videos. We don't want to hear us talk no more. Um, unless there's anything else you'd like to contribute to the show. You said they don't want to hear us talk anymore. So. You talk. Okay, first up, we have Thomas T.D. Davis. These videos were taken in no particular order. Uh, usually I start in my email, and I just start uh, with those on a Wednesday morning. And uh, Thomas T.D. Davis here. Let's see if the lighting's right, and I can see, because it's kind of dark in here. I need another light. Uh, he's he's hitting a uh, 800 trap bar deadlift, uh, lifting without wraps, uh, straps, or a belt. And I need a backing for Mr. T.D. Davis. I'm sorry. I used this one time, Heinz and myself, and we went up to mm-hmm. 700. I got it a little bit off the ground. He picked it up. I kind of like that bar. I like to shrug with it, too. Damn, T.D. looking awesome. Does it the same way I do. And most muscular, yeah, bicep pose, got it. Awesome. Do you train? Do you train with the trap deadlift bar at all? But I, mean, I mainly do when I'm hurt. What is that? What is that? Is that good for what? Deadlift or what? I mean, what is it technically is going to benefit you? I like I, it because it's it higher off the ground. Like if my lower back is like really jacked up, it's a little okay. bit easier. But I don't know. I I don't know when I do it. I feel like I get a lot in my legs too. Okay. Maybe I'll start using that instead of deadlifting. Every now and then I'll do it like as an assistant. And then I can still say I'm I'm deadlifting basically if I lift that up. No. Not okay. really. Okay, whatever. Um, next up, Eric Below. Uh he's he's, he's, he's got some training that. videos here. Uh we got two of them. First up, we have a six hundred uh for three reps and an F eight two ply Raven band. Bench band is what I'm calling it. Uh, 603. It's a separate video. Looks, I don't need a backing. So let's check out this, uh, this, uh, 600 times three and it's in the Raven band. F fate. Little, uh, bench block action. Love it. This kind of looks like our, our half shirt that we got from Pharrell. It's kind of a same concept. Eric's training hard. Hopefully we see him at the Arnold. Like that bench yeah. too, kind of a nice bench. Mm-hmm. Making it look easy, Eric. Very nice. Piece of cake, sir. Strong. Strong. Let's check out. Uh, Eric's got one more video that he sent me here. This is a floor press. This is four ninety five plus one hundred and thirty pounds in chain. Also in the F Fate. Two ply Raven bench band. God, I'll never ever ever say that right. I've been saying F eight for so long. I can't say no. I'm trying, ladies and gentlemen. Let's check out this floor press here. Got some chains on there. Love it. Keeping his butt down. Awesome lift. Very effortless. Great job, Eric. Is that done in the same workout? I think so. That's something we haven't done in a while is uh, full, a floor press. Maybe we'll do that um, Tuesday night for max effort. We'll see. Uh, Roger Brome uh, sent me some videos here. I got a couple of I think I got three of them, actually. Yes, Roger Brome, three videos. Uh, I'm going to have to have backings on them. But Roger's blasting up 405, a 445 on the bench, and a 605 deadlift. Let's check out that 405 first. We'll do them in, in the order they came. I got to put a backing up, so I got to come down and do this thing, and we're just going to go 405. I love his shirt. It looks like it's painted on him. There's not a wrinkle. Perfectly tight. Titan shirt, I believe. Let's check out his 445. Got the little bench block on there. Love that shirt. And we're going to go right to a deadlift, too. All in, all in one here. 
605, ladies and gentlemen. Looking strong for Roger. Roger's looking strong. Looking very strong. Very impressive. Looking good, dude. Keep it up, man. Looking strong. Looking 605. Good. He's looking on point. That's kind of how I did this, right, Ashley? Kind of the sumo? Do you do sumo? I yeah, I, cause I, I I just try to avoid any. I see it so rarely, I can't even remember. Oh, thanks for throwing me under the bus. <laughs> very, it is very you rare. Ju you just threw yourself under the bus. Like, if I do trap bar daily, can't count as a daily. That's not how I talk. Don't ever make, don't ever talk like that again and make that face. <laughs> I'm gonna erase that from the show when we're done. I'm embarrassed because yeah, it like sounded right. and it looked just you like look, you. Yo, yo, yo. That's what you look like. I'm embarrassed. That's how i hear you that's not how, how I you look. are in my head okay uh bob merck um doing some crazy stuff here i think he's going to the arnold i cannot tell there was two videos here by bob and i couldn't get the weight and i don't want to like i tried to count the plates and all that good stuff but anyway um i think he's shooting for an opener here for the arnold uh the three lift bench meet uh total that they're doing so i think this might be like an opener uh, i'm not sure of the weight like i said but we're gonna check out bob here real quick and um i think it's i tried to you know do the math and maybe it's 955 or something i just can't tell bob is always strong on the Jeez. bench every video i see right here in that room i mean he is he just puts up the, the weight man very impressive so what day is the three lift bench total meet is that saturday or sunday i think the like the uh... i will be there the three lift where they're where they're doing benches, but it's like a three lift total. Three lift total. Yeah. I think it's on Sunday. I don't have my phone. Well, I do. I'm not going to get on everything, it. But like everything else is on Saturday. But I Tony, think like the special events like that and the, like the, I think are on Sunday. So they can. Well, Tony Carlino reached out to me, and Saturday. I I think he might need a handoff or something. And That'd I said cool. I'm available. I'm going to be roaming around doing nothing. So feel free to ask me for help. I'm there. Um, and I would gladly uh, help out anybody that needs it. Um, not a big deadlifter, so if I do hand off for somebody, probably gonna need, need to do a three man. Anything after six hundred. Come on. Oh, come on. All right, Anthony Oliveira. Uh, enough to start deadlifting. In shush. Itself. I'm speaking. The little birdie over there. Look at birdie. Look at next time. <laughs> Just one rep's my... not in here to protect you. No, he's not here. Come oh, on. yeah, he is. Thank you. One, uh -oh. rep, one rep, I'm, uh -oh. bl I'm blinking. You better I, not call the cop. I feel threatened in my own home. I don't feel one safe. Rep. Don't do it. Anthony Oliveira, hitting, he hitting. Fell. Big weight here. 1074.5. And I know that number. Uh, he's in a single ply here. It's an all-time world record. He ended up totaling uh, 1074 in a squat, 600 on the bench, and a 727 deadlift, a 2402 total at 263. Uh, body weight all in single ply gear i believe all the videos are included in this video let's put the backing up and go right up to anthony here 1074.5 had to crop it down a little bit because yeah. that's how the video came cool platform yeah, with all the lights cool now remember ladies and gentlemen single ply gear and 263 body weight Jeez. holy crap that's that's pretty light for him he's a big cat damn hell yeah damn 38-ish pound PR. Nice. Former West Sider right there. Hardcore. Nice. He don't miss workouts. Uh, yeah. That's what happens when you put 110% in. You get you get big things. Oh, that's cool. All-time world record. Those don't come easy, ladies and gentlemen. No. Those are earned. 600 here. 78 pound SPPR. Why is there yeah. a question? Oh, Single ply PR. Point. Yeah, no, but I saw the question mark. But I think it's six hundred point something. Yeah, I get it. Holy crap! Is that your opener? Jeez, please. Anthony, come on. Seven twenty-seven. Opener again. Boy, he's looking strong as hell. That that man right there. He peaked for that show and came out and kicked ass. All his lifts look solid. Way to go, Anthony. Jesus. Picture of his, is that his, like... I think, I think his team, yeah. I didn't get that. I forgot that part was on there. Should have froze on there for a second. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect not at this. Uh, Tony Carlino. Um, 
I pulled this one off the internet. I uh, thought it was pretty badass. Uh, he's hitting 1160. That is 1160. Two way one board and with speed. And I need a backing and I need to go find Tony up here somewhere. Where's he at? There is uh actually my eyes are bothering me. Carlina right here, eleven sixty. Uh right here. Love his feet based out one thirty five. Jeez, Tony, that um looked very freaking easy. When that weight gets handed out to me right now in my old age, um I just throw it back in the rack. Well, what? Yeah, I've... yeah. I just say, hey, yeah, I'm. I got a birthday say. coming up in March, and I don't like it. Uh, anyway, nothing to say. Nothing to say. Austin McFarland. He sends me videos. He's a young man on a mission. He wants to be the greatest of all time, and you know what? He's putting in the hard work, and uh, we showcase his videos here, just like everybody else's, and we're seeing him progress over the course of time. He's doing very well. Uh, I have here that he's hitting 495, and it was a cambered spider bar squat here and then he's going to move into some seated pin presses with the football bar we'll talk about that later let's uh is it two videos i have for austin yes austin camber bar squat let's check that out first and this is going to be a 445 i have written down right here i call it a spider bar but i don't you know i'm sure it's got its That's own camber. camber is that a spider bar too no it might be it might be. Jesus, that's not son. What I truly think a cambered bar is. I think a cambered bar is that one that used to have a 509 that's like for benching. Well, I can tell you one thing. That bar itself is 88 pounds in our gym. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's no joke. Now, then he moved into some, uh, this might be a different workout. I don't know. He moved in some seated pin presses here uh, with the football bar doing 205, uh, which has a 20-pound uh, PR right here uh, with the 205 here. So let's, uh, do I need a backing? It doesn't say I do, so let's check it out. Maybe I do. Oh, pin presses. Here we go. Now, we I call that a rogue football bar because in our gym it says rogue on it, right? Yeah, me too. Putting me on the spot here. I told Austin, I said, this is something we'll probably do on uh, Friday, which is tomorrow. <clears throat> Some pin presses like this overhead. I really appreciate everybody sending videos because I see things that, you know, we could be doing or haven't done. And this is one of the exercises right here. I like it. Mm -hmm. it's good. I like that gym, too. I don't know where it's at, but it's... Um, In here. Yeah. Way to go, Austin. Easy. Looking strong. Looking always always strong. strong. Yeah, young kid. Mm -hmm. It's impressive. Uh, Paul Offer here. Uh, looks like he had a deload night. You know, we know what those are around here. Uh, he deloaded with uh, 510 pounds, 40 pounds in chain to a two board for nine reps using his uh, Widowmaker. Let's check that out. Do I need a backing? I think I enlarged it large enough. We don't need one. I don't have a Widowmaker. Well, I do, but it's an extra large. It's a little too small. Good reps there, Paul. Looking easy, dude. Holy hell. Just all day, like a piston. Easy. Boom. Boom. I'm impressed. Jeez Louise. Very good, easy, man. Paul. Very nice. Now, was that the gist of your workout, the pressing part? Did you move into accessory tricep work, or what else was uh, a deload workout? So I'm kind of picking your brain, Paul, as far as what the rest of the workout consisted of, uh, being that it was a deload uh matthew hodge uh this was sent to me by uh larry york over on instagram and i had a hard time getting the videos to play i couldn't convert them to mp4 so we got them emailed and we got them this morning and we got them on the show so matthew hodge here is blasting uh 925 and 1015 and will be competing at the anderson bench bash in two weeks at the arnold so uh let's check out matthew hodge here doing 925 and 1015. I got him right here. I love his uh based out style. I think we showcased one of his videos last week because that was one of the reasons. Uh he's a tall guy like me, and that's where we have to put our feet when we're uh over six and a half feet tall. Like very easy there. If that's 925, that's that's cakewalk. 
I'm assuming the next one will be 1015. It's like a big guy too, a 300 pounder. So that's my bench stroke right there. Just that long. Let's see. Utilizing that shirt. Three, two, one. How come it's not like e that easy for me? Everybody does it. When I take it out, I come down. I'm, my collapse form. Good strong, man. Nice work. Good job, Matt. Nice Shit. Well, you're getting older, Screw. Getting Falling men. apart, man. Two young men. Uh, Julius time. Maddox. Not sure when this was taken, but I saw it and I'm like, well, it looks pretty current to me. I'm going to say it's current. Uh, doing 700 for two reps. And then I saw it on another website. So I'm assuming it is uh, a current lift here. Let's put the backing up. Let's go find Julius here. 700. I'm not sure what uh, Julius is weighing. He looks a little leaner. I know can't the video doesn't do justice, but getting amped up. I love it. Got the fat pad on there. Love that too. So we got 700 even here for two reps. Good handoff. Get it out. Out, 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 out. Good. Like 135, just playing with it. The toy. Julius, you are the man, sir, and you always will be. I don't think there'll be another one uh, to come along and do 800 raw, unless there's somebody lurking in a gym in a small city somewhere. Probably. And there are people like that, you know, that are sitting in the corner. We had one. Um, what was his name? Uh, he had the, tra the lats. Kenny, Kenny Owens. Yeah. Kenny Owens, uh, big black man, about 350, had uh, had just huge lats, walked like this. I When I first saw him in 97, he would train with uh, those uh, or, uh, yellowish, uh, like, uh, farming gloves. Yep. And I walked in one time. It was common to see him overhead press 405 in the rack like this. I saw him take out six plates, 585, by himself and do it for two reps and uh always try to get him to compete but he he just said no 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 oh man he if, if we get a train with us man i mean he has yeah so much so much power and potential it was crazy so okay. and i think he's got diabetes now and he's lost a bunch of weight but he's doing good is he yeah. have you seen him um i saw him um somewhere and he's lean and happy and okay. leaner you know how much is he about three eight pounds I would say if he was 350 when we saw him, he's probably like 280, something like that. Looking real good, looking wow. healthy. Yeah. God, I can't imagine that. Well, when you're diabetic, you know, the doctor wants you to go down a body weight, usually. Uh, I pulled this one off the internet because, you know, it's a woman and, you know, it's a 308 pound raw bench. Jeez. And uh, her name is Denise Herber. And I think she's from Finland, uh, Denmark over there. And I just saw it on Instagram and I go, you know what? Three, 308 raw? That's, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to. I'm going to play her video, and where's she at right here? I mean, uh, 308 pounds. Jesus. And just, she's not huge. Just, How much do you think she weighs? 155, 60, probably. Is that it? Um, no I don't, I can't tell these videos. Jesus Christ. She's got muscle, though. Hey, I'm not going to. Yeah, it's hard to tell, actually, how big and, and you know people are on, on video here sometimes. Okay, um, as I turn the page over, one. here's one that I heard I heard happened. Don't pick your back and bleed on my chair because you already owe me a chair, and um, they're expensive. Okay, so Joseph Tumbarello, I heard this happened like maybe a month ago, and for some reason I had a hard time finding it, but it popped up in my search for videos this week, and it's a 700 raw bench. Touch and go, but you know what? It's a badass lift, and I'm excited to see this. 700 raw. Triceps take over? My God, son. I, I wish I could do half of that. <laughs> Good job, Joseph. Uh, hope to see him on the platform uh, at oh, some point, too. Because he's got that 242 and 75 record in his hand if he wants oh, it. Yeah. He just got to go out and get it. Uh, Larry York. Uh, this was uh, sent to me via email. 
He's hitting an 825 and a 905. Uh, it says to three boards. We're going to have to check it out. I have two videos here. I need backings, it says. So I got to put up this stupid thing here. Let's check out his 825. Uh, this is actually full range here. The next one's to a three board. Getting verbal cues, probably. I can't include the video because I think there's music. Bringing it down, bringing it down, and bringing it up. That's how it should look. I don't know. Perfect. You guys make it look so easy. Perfection, dude. Yeah. Perfection. Not not for me. I'm all over the place. I don't even show my Same. videos anymore. I'm, I'm embarrassed. Oh, yeah. uh, 905 to a three board here by uh by Mr. York. Let's go pop that up here and check out this uh, 905. A little three board action here. Probably torque the sleeve down and the neck down a little bit on this one. I'm not sure. Perfect handoff, no teeter totter. It's not dumped on him, taking it at arm's length. Everything's in, in just, and it looks easy. Oh, three reps. Jeez, Larry. Nice job, sir. Wow. Got that shirt dialed. Nice. Uh, who we got next? We got one rep max. Came in, came in late, but you know what? I got his video. Says here he's doing safety bar uh, squat here to a box and some reverse hack squats to fire up those glutes. Those are his words. Uh, I don't need a backing for one rep for some reason. So let's check out uh, this right here. I enlarged it a little bit so I don't have to use a backing. So that looks like a dungeon, man. I love this gym. It's like, hard, so I mean, cool. yeah. Is it, this isn't the same one he's usually at. Is I don't it? don't don't look like it. No, because him and AJ are usually at a different. And then unless this is just like a different corner of the. But the one that they're usually benching looks like a newer. I don't know. I don't think he's in the chat anymore though. Good job, one rep. I mean, kicking ass here, Mister Box Water. Strong, <laughs> nice work, one rep. Looking Very good, nice. man. Very impressive. He's got four or five and a chain on there. Good, dude. Oh, here we go. Inverted hack squats. I've never done these before, but then again, we don't have a hack machine in our gym. So, say la vie. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, one rep. Doesn't have to be uh, bench press. Yeah. It can be anything, and I appreciate you sending yeah, me no, we like anything and everything that you may have. Squat, deadlift, we like it yeah. all. In fact, we like it better. Yeah. Um. Looks like you're up. You ready to talk through your videos here? I have a squat, I have a bench, I have two deadlifts. Okay. And I can enlarge them. For some reason, the way you shoot in 16 by 9, whatever, landscape mode, it works perfectly. Let's check out squat, because that would be the first thing in a meet. So yep. here you are. I am. Definitely. Your fancy pants on, singlet. Yeah, I wanted to get, like, the the, the, the exact fill, because it's a little different um, wrapping with bare, you know, bare uh, skin. Bare skin. Yeah. and you know, checking out like the, the belt fits a little differently when you've got the two layers as, as opposed to just pants. And, What's the weight? Um, I believe if I sent the right video, uh, that it's 390. No shit. This is what I'm hoping for. At the this meet. is 390? Yeah. Okay. This would be a small meat PR. That's what I'm, that's what I'm shooting for. I'm hoping. On a second or third? Tenth? Probably have to be third. I'd like to be able to do it on a second, but I'd have to open too high. With the jumps that I take, so um, let's take a look at it here. So we're we're doing singles, yeah. good knee wrap, too. Jesus, <clears throat> convex, my favorite. Yeah, I love my convex, my convex. Depth wise, how are we looking there? I mean, it's close. Last year, hip crease did, below the top last of the year, kneecap. The judge went out of his way to tell, like, to tell me to not okay. go below. So, well, just remember some... in the, in the game, you want to get up when you get on the board, you definitely want to show them how, you know, how low can you go. And then you, as uh, you get for the opener, yeah, yeah, then you can start cutting a little bit. That's just the way it is. People yeah. not cheating. No, he, cause he t specifically told me, <clears throat> told me not to go so low on my second last or like <clears throat> on my second Excuse attempt. Me. He said, I don't, that he said not like for my thirties. Like, I was you there. You don't have to go that low. You're cutting. He said I was going like two, an inch or two too low. Okay. I was, so, I heard it. 
Let's and check I out. It was easier than my, my my third was easier than my first and my second. Let's go to bench because this is my see. favorite. What are we doing? Looks like Friday to me. No, this is Monday. Monday. Yeah. Oh, it's during the everybody was there. Oh yeah, because you had the day off. The President's day, day, yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? So this is one ninety. One ninety. Yeah. I wish, I, better, is... I wish I could tell if my butt was. I I thought I was gonna not like that pad as well, but it's so high that it makes it hard for my butt to come up. So I would actually like. To... Did speed off the floor, or off the bottom? I mean, yeah. I think if you just spread the bar there, you wouldn't have that little shimmy at the top. Let's see, Let's see how the attempts. I'll be yelling, spread the bar, verbal cues. You're gonna hear them. Um, we got two deadlifts here. First, no, I don't know what order. Better than I was thinking, because see, like. I've this whole prep pretty much I've had to train with my feet up, which in theory I was like, well, that'll make it feel better when I get to put my feet on the floor, which is, is, is true. But at the same time, I haven't been able to like go as heavy, like without my feet. So right. I haven't been able to like be, you know, I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. Let's, see what happens. <clears throat> Let's check out some deadlift. First one. Looks like you're on a box. 400 off a deficit. Yeah. How much? My and my hand was ripped by this one. Did you get the blood off the bar? I did, dude. It took me like ten minutes to clean up after the gym. I had a, a trail of baby powder, chalk, blood, blood, well, blood drips and smears all over. That's what happens. So now your hand's cut open right here. Yes. Did you put tape on it? I didn't have tape. Oh. I did not have tape. That's gotta feel good. Oh yeah. Huh. Jesus, looking better at the top. Dude, I've been working so hard on that. And I have to say, like, I knock on wood, I haven't had to hitch on, I haven't hitched on any of my deadlifts this prep, like even the heavier ones. So I'm freaking hoping I can pull it off at the meet. Okay, you got yeah. one more deadlift here. Looks like you're off the floor. Looks like a lot of weight. Floor, yeah, this is what I'm hoping for. What is it? 425. 25. I've got to red lighted on it in the past so well let's not get red lighted on it multiple times this is what you got to pull at the end of the day when it's the hardest this is where you got to dig deep probably have to get slapped upside the head a few times and i'm willing to do that here we go verbal cues drop those shoulders in the pocket 30 is where i'd like to somewhere in there you can do that all day. I think you can do that on your I deathbed. I think that's white lights, right? I don't see a hitch. If you were in the USPA, you'd be red lighted yeah. right when you bent over. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think even for USPA, I think. I don't like them. Okay. Well, anyway, God, hey. I tried so hard not to. That's we're going to move into goal. speed bench here. And this is, uh, we're supposed to, I think Heinz was out of town. So it was me, Jose, and I'm not sure if Joe was there. Deacon was there. And we just kind of had a free for all, and we were going to do the circuit. Circuit means we're doing bench, incline, decline, uh, four, three, four sets on each one, and and just um, just having fun, man. Let's check out speed bench, and we'll uh, I'll see what happens. Well. Right off the bat, we're cracking 315. Of course, we started a plate. Deacon here working with 225. I just came in, everything felt light. I just wanted to throw some weight around. Didn't care. I know it's against the rules to go heavy on speed day, but screw it. Jose following right along. He's gonna go 315. He was feeling poppy. Kind of messed up our Tuesday night a little bit, but who cares? Uh, 405. Wasn't too sure where I was going to go. Jose, 405. Probably could have done some reps, but... We were just making this up as we go along. Deacon had a plan, of course, but Jose and myself, we were just doing our own thing. Uh, 455. I want to go 500, but I took the bar high, and I'm not going to make excuses. It just didn't happen. Uh, 455 for Jose. 
I found out I have a bad habit of raising my head and keeping it up uh, during the uh, concentric phase, meaning I'm protecting my neck. Looks like Big Joe stepped in here at 315. We're going to take this kid to 400 here in no time. He's getting verbal cues, telling him to keep it under control. Don't want to get him hurt. And he was trying to do this super fast, and, you know, he just started with us, and we don't need him popping a peck. Uh, I did a drop set here. Just smooth and controlled. Working on my physique for the Arnold. <laughs> uh, seated, incline. Looks like incline. I don't like our incline bench, so we'll do it on the Smith. The Smythe machine. Deacon here using a respectable weight here, getting the volume in. Three, four sets, 10, 12 reps, 8, 10, 12, somewhere in there. Short rest period, so we're hopping in and out here. This workout took an hour and 15 minutes. Moving quick. I do transitions there because you got to load the weights, of course. That takes time. Nobody wants to see that. Jose here looking good, taking the bar above the uh, nipples, upper chest area. Getting good reps in. Look good. Bench monster here. 315. Enjoying myself. Joe. Oh, that look, look kind of funny. Reposition. We're telling him to control the weight here, nice and smooth. Then we went over to decline. I think we just started with 315. We were already warmed up, so. Fatigue started setting in for me. I did a set of 315, it went 405, and it was horrible. I was like, ah. You got to remember, we're moving quick here, so. Even Jose's like, yeah, that's not popping up like it uh, should. So, but you know what? We, uh, we did 315, did drop set or two, and uh, we did some push downs. Maybe some side delt raises, can't remember. Talking about Tuesday, what we were going to do, how we were going to feel. Since we went moderately heavy on this day. So we'll move into max effort. Um, I think BJ deloaded Heinz. God, what did we do? Well, Jose and myself, we felt the repercussions from going a little too heavy on Friday. But you know what? That's expected. And then we don't make excuses. In fact, I, I still went up to four something and uh, was just throwing weight around having fun. Let's check out max effort and see what we did. I always start filming at two reds. I want to see what that looks like. It'll look pretty good. Three, 325 here. I felt pretty good for screwing around on Friday. 405. Working on keeping my head back and uh, not letting it come up. My neck really hurt uh, that night. I'll let you know that. Heinz here, 405 for seven. It's pretty good. Thought he was going to do his usual five, and he spit out a couple more. It's motivating. He and I are trying to get back up to 500. I told him we need to get up and make it an everyday thing on Tuesday to go to 500 raw, hit it for some reps, if, even if it's two. BJ Dirk, 405. Playing with that like a toy. Had a couple more in them if you wanted them. Jose here, 405. In between attempts, I was saying, Jose, how do you feel? How do you feel, you know, Friday, you know? And we were kind of shot out a little bit, but who gives a crap? We were having fun. It's always fun. 
uh, four thirty-five. Is that what that is? Just playing around. Dan Logman seven fifteen two board in the three ply. I think getting that shirt ready. We had to distance and uh, head over and do some extensions. Love the color scheme here. Red bar, blue fat grips coming down. Breaking the eccentric, concentric chain. Staying tight, not relaxing, and extending upwards. Extension. Not put, not extending to a certain point and pressing. That's an extension, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're after. Weight gets too heavy, you'll extend, and you'll then you'll press. And we were moving kind of quick. Line stepping in there. I have some fat grip. I got to clean the back of my truck out. That should be a whole video within itself. Since it's nicer weather out, we actually almost hit 60 degrees today. I need to pull the truck up and just start putting shit on the lawn and clean the back of my truck out. Ashley, are you going to help? I need help make the mess. Well, I got so much stuff. You might find some gold back there. Anything for my crew. Okay. Single ply, no. Well, we got 805 and Dan in a three ply going to one board, I believe. Good handoff. Good descent. And fast lock. Hayes here, a new kid, uh, came in 18 years old and very good listener and motivated and wants to increase his bench. That's why he's with us. Tell him how to do it, and he does it. And he's just easy, easily coached, easily coachable. So it's fun to work with new people, and I'm glad he's joined the crew. I think he and Deacon can push each other. Deacon being 15, Hayes being 18. And uh, I think they can uh, create a little bit of a team push teammate type of thing. Um, plate and a quarter. That's 185 in my world. And I uh, want to do extensions here. Looking for eight reps. Once again, extension, not a press. Squeezing those fat grips. I should have had my mouthpiece in. Probably going to have to do some more crowns. Jose here with the same weight, plate quarter. These uh really you can really feel these in the elbow. The tendons that shoot right over underneath there into the forearm and help extend the weight. You gotta squeeze that fat grip, I'm telling you. If you don't do it and you relax in certain areas, you'll inflame things around the elbow, never get better. Took a pit stop here at Brandon Horse's uh bench, four All plates right. and 405, 15, 20, 20, 435, yeah. doing some reps. Doesn't even cave in at his chest. Just kisses it, stays tight. Everything's looking on point. Decided to uh, do some tape, tape presses here or Jim Williams presses, however you want to call them. Basically keeping the elbows at 9 and 3, coming in tight. You actually don't want to drop the arms. You actually just want to bend from the, uh, the elbow to the, uh, the hand. But, you know, they, they all work. Just something different than rolling dumbbells, and it seems to work for us. I have to start light here because if you don't, like I said, you don't want to irritate the tendons in the elbow there. <clears throat> Once you do, they stay red hot. And we don't have any let up on these. There's only one exercise that I know that's uh, incline inverse uh, extensions, kickbacks that uh, alleviate any type of elbow pain. Other than that, you're getting rolling dumbbells and everything else known to God to irritate the area. <clears throat> and I can't emphasize enough on staying tight, and squeezing the handles and not relaxing. Uh, a little shoulder pressing here, gotta do some shoulders. So they say, well, a big bench. 
Uh, a little two plates. I think Jose went up to three. EJ Dirk getting involved. He's got two training sessions left and I think an opener in the, in the show, March 16th. So he, he deloaded, probably smart thing to do. Everything seems to be on point. March 16th, we'll be here before we know it. Ashley, did you make reservations for a hotel room for that meet? I thought you did. You thought I did? I thought you did, yeah. No, I took I care of the Arnold. Ability. You can do one thing. Standing overhead press, I mean, any type of shoulder work, rear delt. Had to get involved with two plates and a quarter here. Just doing it with my eyes closed, finding the happy place. Probably could have went three plates. Hayes, two plates? Strong kid. Going to see big things from this guy. Yeah, lots of potential yeah. good for real. We're working with him. He has a suicide grip on the bench due to a football injury, a broken thumb. But um, if that's the way it's got to be, that's what we're going to work with. And we're going to take him places. We're going to build him from ground up. And he's got a great foundation already. But I want to get him up to like 315. Raw. It's a good number for a teenager. I don't care where you are. 315? Oh. Fuck, I never did that in high school. 200. I was going to say 225 is probably decent. Not on our team. Yeah. No, they're both real talented. Lots of potential. I'm, I'm going. Hayes, Hayes picked the handle here for the uh, push down. I... Saw a red band laying there, so, you know, I'm going to put that thing on there all day. They say the gym's for sale, so I guess I got to buy it next summer. Problem is that gym doesn't make any money from the owners. I believe they say it breaks even every month, and that's not a good thing. We are, uh, we're not on Main Street, but we're not on Queer Street either, but uh, we're off the beaten path. Not many people know where this gym's at. It's only 8,000 square feet, so you can't have uh, 2,000 members. Not that you'd want it, but okay. if I was going to buy a gym, I, I don't care if it uh, breaks even. I just want a place to train. I don't, I don't care about if it makes money or not. I just want somewhere to go and train and not have to put up with commercial gyms because that just won't work with what we do. Hey, are you going to play on your phone? Um, well, come over here and read the chat box. Come over and read the chat box. Well, why don't you read it? Get on your phone. So hey. disrespectful. Hey, the last time that I chimed in and talked on uh, Max Effort Day, you you know the story. I don't. You know the story. Hey, you know, just read, okay? I'm happy, and you know that. So, I'm going to move to the chat box. Okay. Let me know what, if you need any help. No, you can leave. I can leave? I will never leave. Ter so, we got Terry Conjugate Iron started us out here. Good evening, Bench Monster fam. Good evening, Terry. Week two of me resting due to pneumonia. Oh. Going to bed soon, 2 a.m. here. So I'll be watching you guys first thing in the morning. Okay, so Terry's pneumonia. probably went to bed, but we're wishing him a, a mm. quick I mean, obviously it sounds like it's not a quick recovery because he's been sick for two weeks, but we are... Hoping he gets better soon. And pneumonia is never him good. To feel better and retire, or well, I can't even talk. And recover, hopefully, real soon. Sounds like he's doing the right things, resting and going to bed early. And, yeah. Um, well, I guess it's two a.m. I don't know what you do for pneumonia though. What what, what can they do? I don't know. Do they give you um like antibiotics or anything uh, or no? I was wondering if they give IVs. You, that's what I was gonna ask. Is um, that fluid in the lungs? Pneumonia. Think. I don't know. Does anybody that's know? Scary. Anybody know what you do for pneumonia? It's, that's scary stuff. It, it can be, yeah. Uh, I mean, it can mm. be super. We well, hope you get better, Terry. Serious, yes. Um, thank you, Terry, though, for still he's still thinking about the Bench Monster family, I saying hi that. and making sure to watch us in the morning. So we love you, Terry. We hope yeah. that you feel better really soon. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, we're we're sending good, happy positive recovery healing thoughts and vibes your way yeah. we want you to, to do better real soon so thanks for stopping on and saying hi man we, we appreciate you 
Uh, Roger Brome, good to see you, Roger. Always a pleasure to have you here, man. Um, and it sounds like he's wishing Terry um, some some good some recovery thoughts yeah. too. Oh, right, can't I can't talk right now, but um, Do you want he me to well, read? Terry. No, I just keep like coming. I don't know. I suck. Be well, Terry. Sorry that you're ill. Yes. Yeah. He's, he's, we're, we are all thinking about you, Terry, and hoping that you feel better real soon. It's yeah. no, no fun to be sick, and that can be some serious shit. Um, James Bergalt. Hello, Ashley and Ryan. Man, am I psyched for the Arnold. I have competed in w WPF World in Russia. And six times in UK and three in US, but this is the one I am looking forward to the most. It's a fun one, man. It's 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 a really fun one. It's scary. It's kind of it's one that I always get really nervous for, but it's it's a lot of fun. Um, just a blast. We're mm. super excited to get to meet you and yep. get to watch you kick some ass at the Arnold. Um, yeah, no, definitely something to look forward to. We're 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 looking forward to it as well, and we're looking forward to getting to meet you in person. So, and I stay all like a sore thumb. So please come up and introduce yourself. <laughs> and even though I look unapproachable, I'm I'm just a bench yeah, monster. We will be super super happy to see you. Definitely come up and come come find us. Like like he said, he stands out. So even with all those, not people, really. There's a lot of I big mean, people there's, there. Yeah, there's nowhere like there's but, nowhere else in the world that you blend in as much as you do there. Right. But even there, you, I mean, you know, you stick out a bit. So yeah, no, we're we're super excited too, James. Thanks for yep. stopping in and, and good luck, man. We'll be out there rooting for you today. Yep, we'll be be cheering you on, man. Absolutely. Uh, James down here again. Again, thanks, thanks again, James, for joining us. We're super happy to have you here. Ryan, the shoulder did real well with the BPC one five seven, the stem wave, and dropped the squats and deadlifts for the last four weeks for better recuperation. But I must admit, I can't wait to do both lifts again okay yeah i bet i bet yeah that bpc 157 right i can't say enough about it for uh, any type of muscular tendon injury of any kind not like a complete rupture by any means but anytime you got a twang anywhere it tends to bring you back pretty damn quick and uh, i've seen it time and time again um with people that use it as long as you're getting quality stuff from the right pesticide store or rejuvenation clinic or wherever you're getting it from it's um it's phenomenal stuff. I call it surgery in a bottle. Quit bumping my leg, please. All right, one rep max, right? One rep. Is there a problem? One rep. Hey man, good to see ya. One rep's up in here. Hello, guys. Sorry for MIA missing in action. Ha ha. Been a few weeks. Has he not been here? One oh, rep, I, I have a question, one rep, and we're going to go to Columbus, and like on Saturday, I don't want to drive to the convention oh, center yeah, and put up with the crowds, so how does an Uber work? I've never ordered an Uber in my life. I know you download the app, and I my thing is, is there a car that shows up and has like an Uber sign in it, or how do you find, do, do, does it show up like on GPS, like a little car, and you walk up to it, and you open the door and say... Are you my Uber guy? Or I I don't want to get in the in the car of a murder or anything. So I just don't know how Uber works. And I fuck it. I might give us a quick summary. Maybe a taxi or we've something. Never, we've never done it before. Yeah. I just don't want like to fight the do crowds it. down there. Supposed to have record so attendance to... and finding parkings a son of a bitch. Especially Saturday and maybe even Sunday. So I'd rather just commute that way to the convention center and not have to fight traffic. So but I've never done an Uber before, so maybe you can uh email me some tiny bit of info or something because i'm gonna get the app and hit you know just i might have to go to youtube and learn how to do it so definitely want to uber i think it's a good idea right because tra so. traffic's a bitch so all right paul offer what's up i think so i think it'll save some stress yeah stress um as far as like the parking and yeah yeah if we can figure out how how it works we'll figure it out all that stuff so any advice you have on that one rep we'd um 
we'd appreciate it and uh no need to apologize we're just happy you're here now we get it we get, life gets busy paul Laffer. hey guys how's it going hey paul good to have you here man but we're bummed we're not going to get to see you but there'll be other opportunities right we'll we'll uh we'll get we'll get to meet one of these yeah. days um paul also says i Oh, and it's it's going well, Paul. Hope you're doing well also. Thank you for asking. Um, I worked up to a 415 close grip off a two board for five reps. Damn, son. Damn. Good job, Paul. Sounding strong, dude. Love it. Keep it up. Um, that's all the accessories. That's right. You did. did, okay. That's right. It's all right. That's close grips are great. You know, sometimes uh, we ourselves um, don't do a whole bunch of accessory work after we. Especially after a heavy, like, yeah. Because you spent hours. You really exert yourself an like hour, hour and 45 minutes on the bench. And then it's like we've got another hour of tricep assistance work to do, and everybody's kind of petered out by then. So I, I like to, like, on days where I have time and can, I like to do my main lift, get all that, like, the main movement. Right. And then come back later. You know, go home, like, uh, eat a meal, do do whatever and then come back. to get done. Got it. Because um, a lot of times, you know, like, I'll have to, to go coach or I'll have to, you know, whatever. And so I like to get my main lift in, do go home, eat, do what I need to do, kind of reset, and then come back. Otherwise, yeah. like, a lot of times, you know, you spend, like, a couple hours on your main lift and then you just want to, like, get – your accessory work done and over with and you're tired and your you know gas tanks empty whereas if you can split it up you come back like you know you come back in you're reset like you're not just trying to get through it you're that's what you came for you're got it you're refueled you're ready to rock like i like to do that one showbit jane showbit jane What's up, Bench Monster What's up, fam? Showbit? What's up, Showbit? Good to have you here, man. Always a pleasure, you guys. Yeah. Um, hope y'all are having an amazing week. We're pretty having good. a pretty good week. Yeah. We hope you are too. Hope everything's going well in your neck of the woods. Thanks for being here this evening. Yeah, thank you, Showbit. Um, for joining us this evening. Yes, thank you for being here, dude. Always good to see ya. Always like to see your name in the chat. Um, one rep max. What, dude? What are the odds? So I just bought a bench for that dungeon gym, right? Freaking Forza, four hundred bucks. Nice. That's a good deal. That's I don't know where you got that at. How'd you get that deal, dude? Yeah. It has to have been like. Must have been like I'm guessing he's buying it from somebody. Yeah. And put, it, and put it imagine. and put it in the gym right and on dude. even so if it's in c good condition that's a freaking steel steel yeah because fours of inches are not cheap and you have them forever i mean they never really break uh, let's see here um one rep max i bet you dress like that on purpose to match the extension bar red and black <laughs> You, you had that coordinate like um oh on your uh one of those videos or parts of the video you uh you matched the remember how you i think you even made a comment about oh it. the bar yeah um everybody was wearing red and black and it was red and black and we didn't realize it until we <laughs> even shot sarah it sarah was in the back i think that was sarah yeah with her red pants on and black knee sleeves well. there was just a lot of red and black and then one thing i think the Fat grips were, I think you have blue, you know. Blue, blue fat there. grips, yeah. Um, uh, one rep. Uh, how's the health, by the way? Sorry about the knee, Miss Ashley. Um, health is doing good. His health or mine? Oh, is he talking? Oh, he might be. Probably my health, yeah. Then. Guess they want to do an ablation. Well, I was having issues too. So that's what, that's what I got to do in April. So. Yeah. Got to go in and scar some tissue in the heart and something. So it sounds like yeah, fun. He's got a he's got a, a scary sounding procedure coming up. Not really to me. I mean, I, I fuck no. whatever it is. If I die during it, it was nice knowing Shut you. Up. And, Don't talk like that. You know, whatever. Knock it off. That's what they said. D 
Dude, you're supposed to be a warrior. You better not fucking die during. Well, they kill me. There, there's gonna be uh, a, a lawsuit. I'm gonna... No, the doctors might as well just move to the moon where we can't find him, because there'll be people after his ass. You think so, dude? Well, I'll, I will. I'll make sure I somebody's will got me covered. Yeah. I will. All right. I will. Devin. Oh, and he doesn't care. He doesn't care that you were calling for help. He hasn't said anything. Uh... Yeah. Well, I was being. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> assaulted. Assault and battery. In the you first don't care. Degree. He's on my side. He's on my side. Um. <laughs> and th um. Thanks, one rep. I'm I'm hoping my knee, man, if if it can just hold together for let think it like. I think it will hold it's together. Been okay for for singles, like I said. I mean, even like I could do that three ninety for one, felt fine. But if I if I are, were to go in right now and do one thirty five for. Reps. more than one or two like even three to five sharp pain like you don't know that now doesn't feel good you've been on the peptides. i don't know i haven't tested out like i've been doing things some things to take care of it so i don't know that for a fact now but i'm not willing to test it out uh, I wouldn't. it's too close i know that i can do my singles and be okay so i ha haven't messed around with that which is be kind fine. of a bummer because that's not normally like I have a whole regimen how I warm up. Like I usually do so much, so much more volume and so many more reps. In the last three to four weeks or so, like I've had to change the game a little bit. So I'm hoping that doesn't. I think you're gonna off. be fine. But yeah, Devin. Fingers crossed. But and you said if my patella tendon shot off and they had to call an ambulance for me, you're just gonna sneak out. And yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss the Arnold. You said we were going to miss the Arnold. You said you were well, going to leave. Well, you're going to go to the hospital. I'll catch up with you later that I night. ain't going to the hospital. With a blown with the peloton? And yeah. No, you're going to wheel me around. No. I'm going to steal somebody's wheelchair, and you're going to wheel me around, or you're going to carry me. Steal somebody's gonna, wheelchair? You're going to piggyback. What a low-life scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, they have, like... What's Devin got to say here? A new guy. A new name. Haven't seen him in the chat box? Devin. 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 Does Ryan personal train at all? Yes. I live near Seattle, but would love to come out one of these come days on out. to train with the bench monster. Come on out. And learn his technique on the bench press. We have a uh, bench press night. It's uh, Max Effort is on Tuesday night at 5 yeah, p.m. You, could come, you could come on the weekend or something, and we can do a one-on-one, -on -one and I can run you through a whole bunch of things, critique. Um, I could bring in another individual. Uh, Mike Lupacek, who is uh, comes on the weekends also, we use him for a second set of eyes. And the more eyes, the better on your technique. Because, you know, and we could we could do a lot of things. If you're ever interested, to set up a time and come on down. The weather's getting good, so the road should be, you know, no ice between here and Seattle. And um, just pick, pick a, a time and we'll make it happen, Devin. Love to do one-on-one. -on -one. Like to figure out... Uh, you know, it's uh, one thing to do train people over the uh, internet, but when you're in person, when you come down here and we uh, we alter your technique, we see some things, we change some things, show you some things, and you can learn a lot. It may take, it might be two or three hours here that you're going to be bombarded with a lot of stuff. But what I have uh, guys do is um, I had a kid from Alaska come down and we uh, d went through the sim similar situation, it took four hours in the gym, and we went over everything. From tricep exercises, how to do them correctly, technique, um, so on and so forth. And I think you can learn a lot. So if you want to schedule a time with the Bench Monster, we can do that. Uh, I'm going to post my email here because because this is where you send videos if you want them on the show. It's also where you send uh, if you want to contact me and do anything uh, personal training-wise or you want to send me a million dollars or something, that's good too. <laughs> we'll accept that as well. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, definitely. Seattle ain't too far away. So yeah. One rep. One rep. Yes, sir. So this is regarding okay. the, um, Uber. Uber. Get the app. Link card. So yep. link Credit your. Card. Yep. Choose destination and pickup point. Matches you with a driver. Name, car, picture, plate. Oh. And it shows you a little map telling you how far he or she is. Okay, I saw that. And as soon as he or she pulls up, you'll you'll recognize the car, and License they usually plate. have a sticker. Okay. 
Sounds easy. They ask you. They ask you. They ask you your name. Ask for theirs. Yes. If it matches, you're, you're golden. golden. Thank you, one rep. That sounds pretty easy. I can handle that. All right. All right. I saw the little map GPS thing in there, so I, I can see how this works. Okay. Thanks, one rep. I figured you would know, so I thought I'd ask. Yeah. In the Forza was on a Facebook Marketplace. Good catch. You probably will have to get a new pad cover for it, and there's a lot of upholstery places where you can go down and try out different materials so you can find something that's somewhat sticky for you so you don't slide. It sounds like you already got it. Yeah, if you got the pad cover, or you can send oh, it. Oh, yeah. You can. you can send it. I think Forza and Spokane actually will cover it for you with his own stuff, but we've had pretty good luck at just going to upholstery shops and try and. Those guys at upholstery shops know exactly what you're asking for for non-slip, rubbery type, grippy material, and they'll wrap that for you. Maybe a hundred bucks, but uh, you'll have a good pad. All right. Paul Lawfer, what's up? I'm. You want me to read it? Cause your eyes hurt. Uh, uh no. Um. Paul Lawfer, I'm pretty beat up. My right forearm is very sore. I'm shooting up two more times before my next meet, March 23rd. Oh, you got one coming right up, too. Yeah. That's right. That's a Saturday. That's my birthday. So you know you're going to do well, oh, Paul, yeah. if you're lifting on my birthday. birthday. You got the yeah. blessing of the bench monster. His birthday, March 23rd. His birthday. You're going to do awesome. Gonna Guaranteed. Him. He's going to kill it, man. We're looking forward to it. Yep. Can't wait to hear about it. Just let yourself heal up. Sounds like you're pretty beat up, so you know, let yourself heal. Plenty of time between now and March 23rd, oh, yeah. though. Play it smart. Play it smart. One rep. Um, one rep. Laughing my ass off. So regarding your joke, your, sur your surgery joke, my cat has been suspiciously close to me. So I just poke around saying, that means I'm going to be, that, that means I'm going to die soon. My family hates it. <laughs> Well, what's yeah, it, yeah, he's joking about dying too. Hilarious. It's because my dies. dreams, my dreams are yeah, he's telling me that. I think so. I don't know. You try to you try you try to decipher your dreams, and mine, I think, are telling me that I'm going to be taken from the planet and not returning. So, oh. but badasses never die, so I'll be around for a while. All right, one rep max. One rep max. That's right. Happy birthday. Coming up. It's coming up. Coming right up. Soon. Saturday the 23rd. <laughs> Paul offers. Just glad to be here. My birthday present to you, 804. Fuck yes. Yeah. That'd be a really good birthday present. Yes. Make it happen, man. Make it happen. Can it, it can happen between now and then, man. You've been on point. Training. I mean, you're handling weight. You're moving weight. Just got to stay healthy and keep everything, all, all twings, twangs from happening and icing and, and, um, Eating, you know, the whole nine yards, sleeping. Yeah, it'll come together. It's all on the shirt, too, man. You got to figure out where to put that neckline. So, uh, BJ Dirk is really good with that on our, our team as far as where to set shirts. And he's a big believer in pulling it down and having those uh, sleeves at the end of the elbow. And I don't know. I, I just watch and learn because he's done it before in the past with Titan shirts and technique and things. And he knows a thing or two. All right. Yeah, he does. Howard sure. Weingarten. Oh, Howard. Howard's joining us. What's up, Howard? A A Ashley. Oh, Ash uh, uh. oh, look at the birdie. Bag. No birdies. The birdie <laughs> Get away from me. Howard hey. Weingarten. Ashley, after this meet, I still say if you would widen your feet and sit back more and get your chin straight up and down at the bottom, it would leave a lot of pressure off the tendon. Yeah, I still don't know. I mean, I've been squatting this way for so long and I nothing changed. It was a very light weight where I felt it. Like, I can't explain why all of a sudden. You need to listen to what he's telling you because it's yeah. very important. Yeah. It would sure. benefit you. For sure. For sure. I'll work on it. I'll work on it. I just, it's so scary because I just don't have any, ex like, I just don't know why all of a sudden, like, but 
I I will work on it. I will look in look into it, hoping ah, just do hoping it. I don't have to get an MRI. You might have to have one. Well, yeah, but you got to figure out how. I mean, you don't just like. I mean, you got to figure out like how wide and got to angle the feet out. Mm -hmm. Got to practice. Right. Post yeah. videos. Yeah. Let Howard see your video. I'll post it on the show. No. Get a different angle so you can see your feet placement just, and your toes pointing out. I don't understand why it happened all of a sudden. I've been doing it. I think because your knees went forward too much and it put pressure on the patella tendon. That's common. Mm. And yeah. you might have strained it earlier in the week and didn't know it. And then this time it opened up and got worse. I'm, Paul I'm, Laufer I, I says under, that will I guess be I'm done. I guess I'm done. Sorry, Howard. 804 he's, opener? He's uh, skimming right past your, your comment. We weren't done. But, oh. Okay. Sorry, sorry, Howard. I apologize. I was, I was rude. I'm sorry. Apparently we're done. No, I told you what okay. you have to do. And you need Paul Laufer, that will be my opener. That would be a bad That'd be sick as hell. No. Yeah. And th thank you. Thank you, Howard. I appreciate the advice. Sorry he cut it off and soon but thank you for the advice i'm, I'm gonna make sure she's gonna to do, do it that. when you get so, right back from so, the arnold sorry that you cut it off so you might want to write that but. down like i do i make notes over here on this when i need to and you know i can i, I can remember the chin straight up and down yeah, yeah got it yeah okay yeah yeah i can remember that we'll see all right ross drink society where have you seen that one? Oh, right below Paul off. No, oh, well, we didn't. Fit. You're just you're you're being rude. You're skipping past people's comments before we really get to. I'm rolling right along about it. Jesus, it's not very much. There's not very many more. We can. Oh, we yeah. can actually like people finish people's That's true. thought. Like you're being rude. You're being disrespectful. And to you're the a audience. violent Knock individual. Yeah. You need to go to well, anger management. I got to put you in line, dude. Anger management. Yeah. Might, might That's cool. That. Is that really gonna be your opener, Paul? What's your PR? What's your PR? Do you know what his PR is? No. I'm curious. What, what's your PR? You're, are you really gonna open up 804? That'd be cool. That'd be badass. Can't can't wait to see it and hear all about it, man. You're gonna do amazing. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the highlight of the day. Uh, now raw raw strength society. Hey Jason, how's it? It's good to see ya. I it might not. To it, it might I, not be Jason. Okay raw strength society yeah. thanks for joining us great great to see your name in the chat box here bench monster crew was up not hanging too in much there. just hanging in there just getting ready um thanks for joining us it's good to have you hope hope you're doing well, well hope tra training's going well for you guys hope life's going good and everything's going well i was right it's jason oh well one time it wasn't Really? Yeah, with somebody you else. You say that every time I say that, but I've One never time it was somebody else. I don't think so. I think so. I, think so. I dreamt it. Is it usually? It's usually you, right, Jason? There, I don't think anybody else. Will you be at the Arnold, sir? I mean, I'm looking to see everybody at the Arnold if possible. I know it's are a big trip. Are you reading trip. that or are you asking? I'm just asking oh, anybody okay, that's yeah. listening. Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna be at the Arnold, Jason? Or yeah, yeah. yeah let us know if you guys are walking anybody around. Anybody that's gonna be at the Arnold, let yeah. us know. I already found out the idiot who was. Oh. So oh so so you know you're skipping over it's all right to skip over no well it's it's him it's his stuff I'm going back but he said I already found out the idiot who was pretending to be me so you're right but oh. it sounds like so it wasn't somebody that like shares your this account was a long with you? time ago it was a long time wow. ago we okay. we we saw a post and we said Jason and they said no it's so and so oh. that was a it might have been a year ago yeah so I don't even know. I just never know okay. Good to know. Um, the Arnold is next weekend. It is the first weekend in March. Yep. So. I like one rep's comment here. Read that one. Um, one rep says, here's a B-Day dinner idea. Brazilian steakhouse. Nah. Ha, 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 ha. Didn't do JK, it for JK. me. JK. It was just so expensive. Like, it was good. It was just so expensive. Yeah. You got to get $70 worth of food in you and... It's just yeah, it's meat. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. Try, try to get my eat your money's worth. Yeah. yeah. Good quality tasting, rich, flavorful yeah. food. But no, I enjoyed it. Yeah, for seventy bucks a whack just, a person. I mean, fuck that. I've never. I don't think I've ever spent more money on. Well, you bought it, but I don't think I've had a more expensive dinner in my life. For this town. Yeah. Ruth Chris Steakhouse in Vegas. I had a hundred dollar plate. 
filet mignon and lobster tail or something. It was so damn good. Mm. Iceberg lettuce, blue cheese salad. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. So, Ross Drink Society says it's me. They found out the idiot was pretending to be me and when it's the Arnold. It's next, uh, not this weekend, but next. Yep. Very excited. Yeah. And one rep. Read that one. Uh, one rep. I don't know if your back allows, but sometimes I take weeks off of squatting and just sub good mornings. Also, knee messed up since high school football and sumo helped like a motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Sumo. Okay. Yeah, see, like, if, I'm afraid if I switch to good, I mean, I'm just falling apart. I'm getting so old. You can pull sumo. Well, I originally, I originally uh, pulled sumo. That's how I prefer. That's what I prefer. But then, like, it just started tearing up my hip. Like, mm. like at the top felt like somebody was literally stabbing a knife into my, like, hip area. And uh, so... I, uh, Roger Baker was coaching me at the time and um, suggested I try conventional and see if that felt better. And the night and day difference it made was insane. Um, it went from like I could I barely could deadlift like because the sumo just killed. And then when I tried conventional, absolutely no pain. So I just kind of switched over. I I do sumo from time to time in training just as a, you know, assistant, kind of more of an assistance exercise. Um, So throw it in there and mix it up. But I don't, like, do it all the time and, like, train to compete it because it just seemed to wear and tear my my hip so much extra. It was insane. Um, But, yeah, I love love good mornings. I'm afraid to not squat for that long, though, dude. Like... if I go like a week, if I if for some reason I have to go a week without squatting, it just screws with my mind. But Paul Walker, thanks for the thank you for the advice. I didn't know you played high school high school football. That's badass. One rep. Um, Paul Laffer, I'm on a mission. I've been planning this since I got out of the hospital last March after I had my surgery. Cancer is not slowing me down. Hell no, we knew it wouldn't. You're such a badass, Paul. Warrior. We're proud of you, dude. Yeah. Super proud of you. Um, Raw Strength Society. Are you competing at are you competing at the Arnold? Probably not be there. We will probably not be there, but I will keep my eyes open for any badass lifts. You're competing. Yeah, I'm. Um, I am competing. So, I'm handling. Fingers crossed. He is. Yep. He's he's gonna handle and and all that good stuff. He's gonna be a great handler. Yeah. I know he is. Howard Weingarten. Howard Weingarten. It's probably just overuse, and if you ask Louis, you can never be too wide, and Louis has put out very good videos on it with laura i love laura <laughs> check those out my favorite. i love laura she's such a badass the last couple of times we went to the arnold we've gotten to meet her yeah i love her she's in the warm awesome. room hanging out oh yeah no i adore her one rep but what uh what what videos we'll have to check them out where do you find those well Can you just find them on the internet or go to uh to vhs Type in Louis Simmons and Laura Phelps on YouTube and start there. Thank you, Howard. Appreciate it. Appreciate the advice. Um, one rep max. Okay, guys, getting ready for work. Have a great night. Take care of yourselves and happy birthday. What well, well, you before his birthday? Yeah, well, at least on March twenty third. Yeah, not, it's not till March. Tw- uh, not not February twenty third. That'd be tomorrow. Oh March. yeah, no, it's March twenty third. March twenty third. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, his birthday is on March. It's a ways away. So, which is the same day as uh, uh Paul, Paul's meet. Paul's meet. It sounds like so. So your meet, does your birthday fall on a Saturday? Yeah, year? finally, I like okay. it when it falls on Saturday. Okay. Nice. All my life, I loved it when it was on a Saturday. Yeah, it's I like it when it my birthday's on a Friday or Saturday. Although, like, I have my birthday in the summer, so I don't. I've never had work or school or school or work. But all right. Paul says it's best bench. 
my best bench in a meet was 711 at 242 two years ago. And you're going to open with 804. That'd be cool. He could. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, that's what it sounds like he's going to do. That's badass. So, so you've like, you've hit a PR with your opener. That's always fucking sick when that's the case. I love it. Love it. Very cool. Very cool. Very excited for you, Paul. It's going to be awesome. Very cool. One rep says, here's to 28 years young. Is that me? Yeah, plus about 100. Another 28. Hey, who cares? <laughs> I'm still here. I'm still kicking. Plus 22, 21. You just need to change a battery out. <laughs> Add a ma machine here. For real. Yeah. Paul Laffer. I watched Ryan on Dave Tate's podcast last year, and that was my inspiration. Thank you, brother, for all the help. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I wish we were doing that again. I wish we were yeah, that was set fun. That up. You probably could have totally set it up again this year. Well, I still got more stories to tell, but I think they got enough. Well, that's what I mean. You I don't think nobody him, saw that coming. Know that you're coming again. Yeah. And, I mean, that was called shooting from the hip and being totally out in left field from everybody else. You should have loved and that's it. where I like to be the trendsetter. Saying things and doing things that Tape Tate's podcast really has never dealt with. And, Oh, I'm in, a, sure in a comedic, I'm sure that comical way, kind of. As many guests as he's had, I'm sure that he's. I had to go had check my kind of... my 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 views. I'm still at ninety eight thousand on that one. That's yeah. pretty good. That's a lot of views. If I had a dollar a view, I'd be a pretty sick. Yeah, pretty, pretty sick. that'd be sick. <laughs> well, like we said, people, I'm gonna post my uh, email, and regardless of the fact that we will not uh, have a show next week, I still. We'll appreciate videos, an on the, on the and day. we will have a on guest, most likely, on the 7th of March. That will be Ken Lane, if everything works out. If it doesn't, then we will have videos in a normal show. But uh, even if we do have Ken Lane and you do send videos, we will have a gigantic video show the Thursday after uh, March 7th. So either way, the videos will make it to the show one way or another. Yeah, um, I'm just really looking forward to meeting Ken Lane and uh, having him on the show. And then, of course, uh, you know, Ed Cohn, and that'll be my next one. He is coming to our town here pretty far, like not three hours away. But I think Ed Cohn has a uh, computer and a camera. And yeah, if, if you go, if, if you I, I'll reach out to him for it, we could. Yeah. No, I'm talking about having him on the show. Yeah, I want to have him on the show. Yeah, I've been begging you for years. I know. For years now. For well, really years. Ken's, Ken lives in Oklahoma now. He doesn't live in Texas anymore. I just found that out today. So. No, I'm talking about Ed. Yeah. Ed lives in Chicago, I believe. So that's three hours ahead. But I, I think he's cool for staying up late on yeah. Thursday night. Yeah. Yeah. He? All right. He's probably I think he's retired, isn't he? Well, I believe so. Yeah. Um, we missed a couple here, though. Okay. So. We'll read them. Um, we got to get going. I'm hungry. Howard Wine Garden says, I don't know about anyone else, but after what Paul said, I am damn fired up. Hell yeah, Paul. <laughs> yeah, we're super excited for him. He's going to kick some ass. That's coming up real soon. Oh, yeah. Uh, next couple weeks, March 23rd, um, Paul's going to kick some ass uh, at his competition. So we're looking forward to that for sure, for sure. Um, Devin, Devin says, thanks, guys. I'm going to have to make it happen for the personal training one of these days, I have some family over near you guys in Walla Walla. Yeah, yep. that's very close. Some, so I'll make a trip out of it. Thanks again. Yeah, sounds great. You're welcome, that's, Devin. Yeah, that's real close to where we're at for sure. So you just let us know, and we'll, we'll make it happen, man. Absolutely. Yeah, Walla Walla, forty-five minutes. Uh, yeah, east, I believe. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Cool. It's real close. It'll be perfect. Just give me a heads up on the date so we can plan accordingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't get don't us... get a hold of me and say, "Hey, next weekend, uh, I'm gonna need a little bit more give time." Give us a little little yeah. bit of um, notice so we can kind of, you know, plan plan accordingly and make sure that we're for sure, you know, free and make it happen, man. Um, Paul says thanks, Howard. Um, Howard says I'm hoping. To hit that number in April. Thanks, Paul. Oh, we got two of ya. Two of you little 804 badasses. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The We're Col excited about it, you guys. The four ply for Howard or the Colossus, I believe he has also. So, got two shirts. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. We're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys miss us a little bit. 
I know we'll miss you guys. It'll we're, feel weird. We're gonna miss you guys Thursday night, sitting in a hotel room. Uh, we're we're gonna miss you guys. I wanted to I wanted to do like an on the go. Oh, let's see here. We got Devin says I would love to see Ryan on Mark Bell's Power Project. Me too. I have literally listened to the Dave Tate podcast no. six to seven times. There was too many funny stories in there, especially the Mexico trip had me <laughs> roll. And... Hey, man. Yeah, I asked. Uh, Mendelssohn was on a long time, while back. Mendelssohn was on uh, Mark Bell's show, and Mendelssohn said some shit about me, and I got a hold of Mark Bell. I said, hey, when do I get to come on and uh, defend myself? You know, and he's like, oh, oh, blah, 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 I'll have you down. Never got a hold of me, so I can ring his were you, walls. Were you supposed to get a hold of him, or was I got a hold? Of him. I said I want to come on there and 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 defend myself. You had Mendelssohn on. Now where's my part? And never got a hold of me, so I need to reach out to him. I have him on ours. Yeah, but I want to go down and and uh, Sacramento. I think that's where he's at. Oh yeah, that'd be and, even better and, uh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Why is he? What's he got against me? Why have I been on the show? I gotta call him up and. I don't think he's got anything. I know. Him. I'm just saying. Anyway. Hey, he's just so busy. I know he's dude. busy. We he's will be out. back after the Arnold, and you'll probably see some posts, some pictures. Usually, when I'm at the venue, I take pictures, and then we're at the hotel at night. Board, I post them, and and um, I don't I don't do a lot of posting on social media. You guys know that, so hopefully, I run into some cool people, and and uh, you guys run into me, and and uh, we take some pictures, and yeah. Get some video footage of your lifts, hopefully, and anything else I see that's uh, worthy of a video, I will try to get it on my iPhone, whatever the hell this is. Not the fit. What iPhones do we have? Eights? Tens? That's Ten. a really good question. I think 10 Pros or something. Anyway. All right. I'm not sure what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Bench Monster's got to eat. He's uh, got to carve up for that bench workout tomorrow. I'm get my contacts out of my eyes. Dude. And I don't know. We're, we've been eating uh, some some ravioli we got from Costco. It's got chicken and mozzarella in it. Oh, it was Threw in some so Alfredo good. sauce last night. And we can do it again tonight. because we I got, got the best Alfredo sauce. Yeah. That was a really good meal. Good so carbs. Good. I'm hungry. I'm yeah. I'm hungry too. Feed him. All right, guys. Thank you guys for joining us. We're going to miss you guys. Um, but we're excited to see you uh, the following Thursday. Um, hopefully, we'll have some good stories. Yep. Super nervous, but and hopefully we have hopefully Ken Lane on the show when we get back and... if everything works out. So yep. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to our first guest of twenty twenty four. Yeah, we haven't had a guest in I know. so long. We got we need Ken Lane and then I'm gonna Ed, bump Ed elbows Cole with a bunch of people and explain our to next, them next at the Arnold if, if I don't have you on the show, it's because it's Thursday night. It's a work night. People have families, people work Friday, and it's, you guys are 10 o'clock, we're 7 o'clock, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I yeah, just. And if they say, hey, that's okay, I don't mind. Then so. I'll write that down, it's okay. I just want to get get their blessing first. Anyway, we'll see you guys when we get back from the Arnold, and uh, come up and bug me at the Arnold, say hi, if tap you're me there, on the shoulder. Make sure you come and say hi to us. If not, we look forward to seeing you guys. Yeah. If you're not going to be there, then we look forward to seeing you guys yep. the following Thursday. Hell yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us this week, this Thursday. All, we always appreciate you guys um, choosing to spend your Thursday evenings with us. Um, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, an awesome Friday tomorrow, a fantastic weekend, an awesome next couple of weeks, and then we look forward to seeing you the following Thursday. We love you guys. We appreciate you. And we'll see you guys later. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.